time of year when the woods get busy with people hunting, gathering mushrooms, or getting in a few final hikes before the snow falls. But a Kelowna man has a warning for anyone venturing up a public road near Kelowna. Blaine Gaffney joins us here in the studio with more on this story. Blaine. Well, uh, that's right, Rick. Uh, he's sounding the alarm about what happened to him along McCullough Road just east of the city. Bruce Ordzik says be very careful where you park your vehicle because you could be trespassing on private property without even knowing it. He's calling on the West Bank First Nation to put up better warning signs before it continues issuing $125 fines to unsuspecting trespassers. You can clearly see that there is no signage here indicating West Bank First Nations land, no trespassing signage. There's absolutely nothing here to tell you that you can't park here. A day's outing recently up McCullough Road into the woods east of Kelowna left Bruce Ordzik feeling cheated. The situation is absolutely not fair. Ordzik parked his car in what he thought was Crown Land, but is actually Indian Reserve Land, belonging to the West Bank First Nation. When he came back to his car, there was a $125 ticket on the windshield for trespassing. Tickets also placed on two nearby vehicles. One truck was parked on this side, and another one was parked over there. Ordzik complaining of non-existent or insufficient signage, warning people it's private property and to keep off. I think it would be fair for West Bank First Nations to erect signage showing the general public where their Indian reserves start and end, and that way the general public would have fair warning, they would stay out of here, as I would have never parked here if there would have been no trespassing signs or anything to indicate this was West Bank First Nations land. Now in the vicinity there is a WFN private property no trespassing sign, but Ordzik didn't park over here. He parked his car up that road, and there are no such signs up that road. I don't know how anybody could say that that sign would apply for that roadway over there. One would think that that all is for that area. Ordzik says his complaints to the West Bank First Nation went unanswered. They have failed to return any of my calls, messages, or emails. And when Ordzik contested the ticket, he lost his appeal. The WFN saying in an email to Global Okanagan News, Mr. Ordzik's ticket was reviewed by an adjudicator who considered all the circumstances and made a determination that the ticket is valid. However, the WFN did not respond when asked if it would improve signage in the area to lessen any confusion about its private property boundaries. They basically feel they don't need to put signs here before they ticket anybody, and I think it's totally wrong. Blaine Gaffney, Global News, near Kelowna. Well, the West Bank First Nation says its ticket issuance and enforcement system is similar to that used by all local governments in the province. And in an arrangement with ICBC, violators who don't pay their tickets can't renew their driver's license until they pay that financial penalty. Rick? Thanks, Blake. Blake Gaffney joining us here in the studio tonight.